this morning to give us a crash course in mental strength as we all get through this. Our own Governor General and acclaimed astronaut Judy Payette joins us. Good morning to you, Madame. Thank you so much for being part of our special daily discovery into this brave new world. But I actually want to begin by giving you our condolences to you and your family. I know your own dear cousin, because of COVID, had to die of cancer with only one person there. So it, this is now something so many Canadians are experiencing. And, and I wonder how you processed that inability to reach out and mourn with family, as so many others are now having to do. Good morning, Ms. Laflamme. Uh, thank you for uh, speaking with me. It's a real pleasure. It's a reality we all face. We all have now to make sacrifices for uh, because we're all fighting the same enemy, this invisible enemy, and it affects us all, whether it is uh, some of our elderly people who uh, we can't visit or or uh, small business owners or, or, or are worried about their business. Uh, we're confined at home now. We've been so for several weeks with our children and school. There's so many worries. but. I, I tend to hang on on also the positive, and you, you mentioned it just a second ago. Uh, the numbers are frightening. The numbers are really big. But the numbers of recovered people are even bigger. Mm -hmm. And that is really important that we share that, too. We hold on to that. And, and I always think, you know, you are so much better trained to steel yourself against the unknown, given your own personal experiences. But most Canadians are now, as you say, into a month of home quarantine. Can you climb back into your own experience on the International Space Station? There, there had to have been moments you, you wanted out and, and maybe help people find a new way to accept this forced confinement. There is an awful lot of cabin fever in this country right now. There is, and then, and with time, it, I'm, I must say, it only gets worse, right? Until it gets better, because it's, it's a cycle. And uh, what you have to find, and uh, many of my astronauts' colleagues have already uh, been out in the public uh, sharing those tips about isolation, is that you have to count on a, on a couple of ammunitions. And uh, when, when it hits harder, or when you have enough, or you miss your workplace, your children miss their teachers, uh, your teenagers miss their friends, I have one at home, um, you have to then, you, you can't use all of the, the number of things you can do to, to pass time and to also, you have to, to pace yourself. It's a marathon. And it, and it takes time. Uh, actually, time is our best friend. Mm precious time. The more we know about this virus, the more we test and we're doing that all over the country, the more we know where it's going, what it's doing, and how to counteract it and eventually neutralize it. So um, right now, it's actually really important that when you feel a little down, call up, use the technology, uh, go for a walk if you can keep a distance, and uh, do things that you like. You Take advantage so that uh, so that you hold the line it is more important than ever right now mm -hmm. to not go you, because you're going to see results you talk about medical testing and it's also there's so much emotional testing every single one of us is being tested right now and you've said we can't choose when hardship comes but we can choose how to respond to it. It's a quote that I read of yours just a few days ago so I wonder who you worry about most right now like I think most Canadians, I worry about those that are more affected by the virus, uh, our, our seniors. Uh, I have my parents, and they have been confined now for several weeks, like everybody else. Uh, but I'm uh, I'm also uh, concerned about uh, about people uh, um, hope that we will get at the end of this. We're now deep into the now, mm. and we're taking the right measures, and we're social distancing, and I cannot stress how important this is. But soon, we, it'll be the end of it, and there will be an after. And this after can be also uh, quite uh, quite worrisome. Uh, people, how are we going to start all this again? Uh, for sure, the coronavirus will change will change our society, and hopefully for the better. It will change, uh, perhaps for the better, how we interact with each other, how we take care of our seniors, how we travel and move things around, how we share essential and how we share this planet. So I, I look at this again on a, in a very 
positive way. Mm. There will be an end to this. We just have to be steadfast and patient, disciplined. You bring up such a fabulous point. I mean, we have to look for the positives, and surely that comes from the country's brightest minds coming together. You know, on the one hand, science, technology, engineering brains, trying to find a vaccine, trying to manufacture medical supplies. On the other, though, profiteers out there peddling false claims and phony remedies to the most vulnerable. Are you worried that trust will be one of the casualties of this? I think that uh, people will be actually more acute at uh, at uh, discerning who are, are telling you the right thing and not. And uh, I think now, in the next few weeks, uh, every amplification outlet should be out there saying, beware. Beware of people who will promise you to keep your uh, stocks at a good level, or beware of people who are asking for your personal information mm -hmm. on the computer. Uh, beware. Of, uh, of people who will take advantage, uh, promising you a miracle cure. There is no medical cure right now. However, people are frantically working for a treatment of the most severe aspects of, uh, of the uh, illness, and the treatment will probably come before a full cure. So there are hope out there, but there is no miracle. We so all. beware. And it's really important that we all say that and we all check ourselves absolutely so true and we do see bright lights through this dark time i don't want to just bring up the negative but tell me about your caring project you've launched uh, to help canadians and shine a spotlight on some of the positive things happening in this country well as a governor general uh, my my essential duty is to support the constitution and the government and i do that uh, uh, every day however in the meantime since we have stopped our activities we uh, try to encourage amplify and do a lot of thank yous but we also would like to hear from canadians so we uh, we have a platform on our website we'd like to hear from you we have uh, many channels of communication uh, to tell those stories the stories that you are already uh, saying and telling uh, all the time, the stories of resilience, the stories of solidarity, and sometimes things that have touched people. And those fabulous artists that we have all over the country who are entertaining us remotely. Uh, we want to share that as much as possible. Oh, that's such an important part of this, and I know it's time to time to hold the line. As you say, a lot of people may not realize that you are actually also an amazing singer, so that could be a stress reliever. But can you very quickly give us any other small tips people uh, might want to work on uh, for the greater good to help them get through this before we say goodbye? Yes, absolutely. One of the things we do as a crew, and I was telling that with my, my team at Rideau Hall, is that uh, you try not to have your down moment. We all have down moments. Mm -hmm. It's normal uh, that, that, you know, especially if we're financially preoccupied uh, it's, it, and the like, kids are at home, it's tough. If you have a downtime, talk about it with someone else, because that person might not be in a downtime at the same time. and and uh, we'll pick you up and then the reverse will happen. That's the, one of the best tips that we have. Mm -hmm. We are a team. We, we are all interdependent and we need to support each other uh, at the family, community nucleus and all over the, the country. And I cannot be more proud, Madame, to be Canadian. Well. Thank you, Madame Payette. Merci tellement for the, this this morning. Your insight. We thank you for taking the time. Of course, this.